This week's Applebee's News Talk 960 WSBT Athlete of the Week is Brad Messersmith of the Riley Hockey Team. Brad is in his senior year as a Riley Wildcat and has loved being a part of the hockey program from day one. Riley Hockey has really been great the past four years. I mean, uh, the thing that I noticed the most about Riley is that uh, it's a lot different than some of the other teams as far as camaraderie. Usually the teams are really close, you know, all the guys hang out outside of the game, you know, it's not necessarily just play hockey, go home like a job, you know, it's, it's got, it, we make it fun for each other. So uh, that's one of the things that I like most about Riley. I think if I played for another team, I don't know if I would have had as much fun, maybe not stuck with it, but uh, it's been really good the past four years, so. The, the beauty of, of playing a sport like hockey is that, you know, it's, it's not as popular of a sport as, you know, say football or basketball, you know, so it's, it's tough to get the amount of players out so uh, a lot of times the teams are watered down a little bit, you know, there's not as much talent. But uh, that's, that's one of the fun things about hockey, you can, really, you can really work with the younger players to improve. And I, I think that's one of the things that we did best this year, is uh, we had a lot of young guys come out this year. We lost like, I think, seven or eight seniors last year. So um, a lot of the young guys have really stepped it up this year. And I think that's one of the beauties of having a team with such young players and not as much talent. You can really work on it and improve and some of the guys I thought, you know, weren't going to do that well this year, really stepped it up and played well. So that's one of the beauties of it. In addition to hockey, Brad keeps busy with a number of other activities and sports, like the postponing sexual involvement group at Riley High School, National Honor Society, holding down a part-time job, church youth group, and the Riley soccer and golf team. Uh, well, I played soccer when I was a kid for a long time. I think I started maybe when I was six or seven, I want to say. but. Uh, I stopped once I got into middle school and then started back up my sophomore year. So um, I think I could have been a better soccer player if I would have stuck, stuck with it. But um, I mean, soccer is more for the fun of it. You know, hockey is my main sport. Obviously, that's the one I'm the best at. But uh, I, I basically do soccer just to you know hang out with my friends, have fun. You know, obviously I try to compete my best, but that's not necessarily my main sport. So uh, but, uh, again, golf isn't necessarily my strong point, but. Uh, I like to go out there and have fun, you know, the golf team is, is definitely a, a fun thing to be on, you know, whether you're the best player in the area or the worst player in the area, which was probably me, but um, it's definitely a fun sport to be on. And again, my coach is great, He's standing right here, so I have to say that, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, golf season is, is a really fun thing to do, and uh, I mean, you can't really go wrong when you golf for free after school every day, so. <laughs> You know, I, I've had the privilege of knowing Brad for four years now. A very nice young man, great athlete. Uh, he epitomizes what the term student athlete is all about. Brad understands that he's here for main reasons academics, but at the same time he represents the community on the field of play as well as he does off of it. You know, I, I got a good relationship with Brad, and I'll be honest with you, he's the kind of kid you want your daughter to bring home you know, to me. And uh, you know, I know he's going to be successful in his future endeavors. And it, it's been a privilege and a pleasure to coach him, and I wish him well in the future. Brad also finds time to cheer on his friends and fellow athletes when he exemplifies that wildcat pride. Um, well, I got to tell you, the football season means a lot to me. That's that's my that's my cheering section basically. Since I'm not the football player, you know, I, I know a lot of the senior guys are on the football team, so I, I got to hold down the cheering section. You know, I'm the one out there with the cape and the you know the wig, the yellow wig. Uh, but um, it's, it's one of the good things about Riley. There's a lot of school spirit, you know, and it's, it's just fun to go out to the games. Even if you aren't playing, it's really fun to go out there and cheer your team on, you know. And uh, I think that's one of the good things about Riley. We have a lot of good school spirit. So. With all that Brad is involved with in and out of school, he maintains a 3.715 GPA that ranks him 12th in his class of 2008. I was always brought up, you know, my parents have always told me that education is the most important, so I try to put that before athletics. Obviously, you know, other people think that athletics should come first, but, uh, you know, I, it's just the way I was brought up. I always have to work hard in school, you know. Basically, a lot of the sports that I play don't necessarily practice right after school, so usually I just go home and do as much homework as I can and then have a little bit of time at night to do that. So I plan on going to the University of Illinois. They have a Division I club team that I plan on playing for, for hockey, obviously, and uh, I'm going to study mechanical engineering. They have, I think, like the number three school in the nation for that, so I'm pretty excited about that. Brad, congratulations on being named this week's Applebee's Athlete of the Week, and Thank best you. of luck to you in the future. Thanks a lot. Congratulations once again to Brad Messersmith of the Riley Hockey Team. This week's Applebee's News Talk 960 WSBT Athlete of the Week.